gonna be a shelf to hold Lorenzo's medical supplies. We will see how it turns out. Put in here. Oh, give me two of those things. Two wood pieces. <laughs> We have to put it together is just, just a little bit of tax. Okay, we got to flip it up. <laughs> Try to hold it together while you flip it up. Now, we need to get these pieces in place. This one. It's still, it's way crooked. Oh, yeah. It ain't going to get straight until we get it all together. Okay. It's just one of those things. Screw them in. All that is now. Just one. Just one on this side? Yeah. You look after it. Yes. You. No. Her father. Tighten it up and not tie it. Leave it loose. Yeah. Because we still got to address this side. Came with a power saw because the screwdriver just wasn't doing it. Oh man, those are hooks. We've been using the screwdriver for this, but it ain't right. No, it's not right. We're working. Beautiful job, Dad. Beautiful job. Success. It's standing up. Good job, Dad. Oh, this is this is the tack to the wall. To keep it from pulling forward. We definitely need it on the wall. It's really not that tip. It's really not that tall. It's pretty nice. We put the suction up here, right here. So Lorenzo okay, won't suction so himself. Nope. Okay, people. So you saw me and my dad, which was yesterday. Today's a new day try to put this shelf together. This is the product. Nothing's in the bins. I'm going to try to organize the bins right now. Um, yes, I'm 26 years old, but this is a thing. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to start with his TPN and lipids um, materials. That is what everything that consists of putting vitamins into his TPN. His lipids come in a clear bag and it's white just with his fats in it there's nothing that we have to put in that but the nurses or myself have to literally insert vitamins and things into his TPN and mix the bag up so um, there's needles and syringes and things to pull the medicine back and shoot it in so I'm gonna try to put all that in one bucket so TPN tubing lipid tubing this is, I mean, how it gets to his central line, which is in his chest. So, all that's going to go in one bucket. And the Y ports. Y ports are what connect both of the lines. And then both medicines will go through one line when they get down to this port right here. This organize with me is going to be super long, but... I 
have on the bag and like lipid tubing like that. And I try to have it stacked to where when they pull it back, they can read the name. They have these little handles right here so they can pull the stuff out. The mess, one of the vitamins that goes in the TPN. Most of them have to stay in the fridge. This is the only one that doesn't. The needles to put on the end of the syringes so we can suck the medicine out of the tubings and push them into the bag. Of course, there we go. Instructions come with the pumps. I will show you the pumps, what it looks like. It's an IV pole with two machines on it. Um, but he's in the living room asleep right now, connected to his medicine. So. That one's gonna go in there, and eventually I'm gonna get labels and be all fancy and put labels on the um, buckets. So in this one, I'm going to put the caps on the ends of his ports that hang from his body. There's caps that have to go on there and we have to change those to make sure he's sterile. So caps. And then we have to use these little green caps to put on the ends to screw on so nothing dust and everything doesn't get in his line and infect him. So all those little caps and things are gonna go in one bucket. another bucket in here with three drawers that I have more stuff in his ostomy stuff so I'm going to try to get that in here also in the buckets so this is his ostomy stuff we have the bags that hang and then we have the patches that attach to his skin those are I'm going to put at the very bottom in probably that bucket did I say this bucket the TP caps, and caps, uh -huh, caps, caps, 
Where's my other bed? Or do you just put it over here? Why are you letting stuff down? Because I don't want it to be too bulky this way and then I don't want to sit stuff on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And this is just to the side where she can see. Well, make sure the name is, you can see the name. Yeah. So, I mean, I still have these two down here, these two, these two, and then there's those two over there. So should I keep the diapers and wipes down there? Yes. Like they are, right? Okay. I went, oh no, the ostomy stuff is down here. The ostomy stuff is right there. Or, so should I try to get rid of this? If you have room, yes. Right? Yes. I feel like I should. Yes. Well, maybe like I could kind of work my so, way. So the thing that they use the most on top. So on they top. don't have to bend down for it. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then we could have the ostomy right here. And then we could do something with these What's down up there? here. Nothing is up there. So up there. So that's what they use. That's what they up there, if you have the room. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna put in there? Are you gonna leave that like it is? Uh, like all the labs, I do want to keep secure in this top drawer. Yes, yes. But like I figured I could put like like some gloves and stuff down here. But like you said, I could probably fill yeah, some of this up. Re Suction catheters, not catheters. Mm -hmm. Essential for organization, Ziploc bags and Sharpie. Now? Yeah. Uh-huh. Since you don't have a blind, we can lean it up against that window. We could. So I think I'm going to... said he does want the shot glasses. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they, they're trash. Are you serious? Did you never give me an answer? And I'm like, I'm not going to read anymore. Oh, these are just the plugs for his pointy out of catheter. But I'm going to keep these anyway. Okay, we'll put that in the, ex the extra box. Well, that's the extra box right there. No, no, no. I mean the extra. Yeah, are we going to have extra... Okay, what were you going to put it in there for? Is this that's just, just all the trach stuff. Well, you were going to put that. That's not for his trach. Okay, but there's nothing for this to significant, significantly go. So there's no catheter box. No, there's no catheter. Okay, it's extra then. You get that door. That, that pretty much is extra stuff. Okay. Can I lay down around here? Before you leave, all in one drawer. Mm, look at this, you love. Be careful. Thank you, love. <laughs> Dream about the chicken. Wipes, extra wipes. This bucket. What are we going to do with the can come in, in here as trash. I thought we were good. We have more stuff to go in the ostomy bucket, which is the Ellie ostomy. Let's so, the ostomy stuff also requires uh, spray to help take his patch off easier from his skin. So, this will be spray.
spray. been in here doing this? Mm -hmm. No, we got home at seven. Two hours. It's nine. Oh, yeah. well, it's been an hour so. Oh, yeah. I think it's been an hour since I recorded. An hour later. We're still going. Okay, it is done. It is finished. We have a product. We stuff. Breathing treatment. This is for his labs that get drawn on Mondays. All his suction catheters is how we suction him through his trach. Those two up here is extra. We have saline solution, gloves for nurses, um, alcohol pads, things like that. This is where we put all his needles when we get his shots. TPN tubings, lipids, everything is labeled. Let's see what's on this one. Oh, all his caps and needles. Oh no, his needles, his syringes for his TPN. Caps, all his stuff, his central line. Adhesive removers, things that make his um, patches come off easier. All his trach stuff, the ties, the HME. This is what we put on the end of his trach so he can breathe better. Um, Q-tips. Let's see what's in this one. All his ileostomy stuff, his bags, his spray to make the patch come off easier, the patches, the tape to secure it. Down here is just bed pads, extra bed pads, because uh, he does still have to wear a diaper. Wipes, extra wipes. Let's see. In these three drawers down here under his bed, it's just full of diapers. All three of them. And this is just extra trike stuff. Those diapers are about to go back to Walmart. Well, that's it and then I had to rearrange a couple things in his closet like he had his can with his socks right here but I moved them to that drawer right there um, and that is it that is the final product I used to, all his trach stuff used to be in here but now all of it's gone that's gonna come down that's my room our rooms are connected very convenient but Everything came down from there and everything is here. It's beautiful. I love it and it's nice and organized. Now that looks unorganized, but that's just because the wires are everywhere. But that's his suction, his cool mist to help keep his trach moist at night and his pulse, ox his pulse ox machine is about to go on to monitor his heart and stuff at night. But that is it. It's done. Thank you for watching this crazy video. And I'm sure I'll be back with another one. Um, I think the next one might be um, everything that we have to carry if we take him somewhere. That one might be a little long too because basically everything that you've seen me organize, we have to carry. So stay tuned for that one.